All right, guys, today we're going to make a sucky video. And when I mean sucky, I really mean sucky. As in vacuum sucky. <laughs> anyway, here we go. This is the uh, Milwaukee 18 volt cordless vacuum. Pretty nice unit. And this here is the uh, rigid 18 volt cordless vacuum, which is uh, less feature packed, but by far, in my mind, superior in several ways over the Milwaukee. Now, I haven't had the Milwaukee a whole long time. I do have a ton of Milwaukee uh, batteries, and that's why I went ahead and <clears throat> invested in the Milwaukee. But the 18-volt rigid, if you do a few modifications to it, will absolutely blow the Milwaukee away as far as performance. Uh, hands down. Number one, the reason why I like the, Mo the rigid better than the Milwaukee is the diameter of the, uh, the hose. Rigid's hose is too damn dainty, too small. It's too small. Look at that. Look at this. I'll just, we'll just eat the Milwaukee. The, the rigid just eats the Milwaukee up. So that's number one why the rigid is better than the Milwaukee. Okay. Number two reason why the rigid is better than Milwaukee is the filter size. Filter size is everything. Every, anybody that knows anything about filters knows the more bigger filter you got, the longer you know you're going to have air through it. You have more surface area. It's just a, it's natural. It's a, just the way it is. It's a fact of life. Now, I'm going to show you guys. This back vacuum is almost two years old, and I've beat the crap out of it. I have a bite. So I'm just going to have to beat it up some more. Like I said, this vacuum is... Come on. Really? Only on video. Okay. Look at that. That thing is all filter. All filter. That's like a like a corded shop vax filter. And it is. It's what it is. Now you look at the Milwaukee and... It's a totally different deal. It's pretty sad. Look at that. Look at the size of the filter. Look at the size of the filter. And you see why the Milwaukee can whoop its ass. Because the Milwaukee has no... Once this little paper filter gets, gets plugged up, it loses all its suction. Look at the inlet here. Look at the inlet here. Not very big at all. Already plugging up with stuff. Just kind of horrible. It's a, it's a piss poor design by Milwaukee. You know, they should have took a play out of Rigid's playbook and made theirs like this. It'd be a hell of a lot better vacuum. Now, that being said, Milwaukee's got it beat in a couple of ways. Uh, naturally, the Milwaukee you can run you can run up to the 12 amp hour batteries in the Milwaukee. They got a 90 in there now, but it'll run a hell of a long time on a 9 amp hour battery versus I think this has only got like a 4 amp hour battery in here. Just a little rigid 4 amp battery. But anyway. But, you know, Milwaukee, if you want to step up your game, you know, I would definitely increase your filter size so we get more airflow than this little puny little filter. That thing goes in a dust buster. And uh, I use the shit out of this vacuum. As you can tell, that's a two-year-old filter. I just keep blowing it out. It needs replaced, but I've kind of retired this to the house use, and I'm not really worried about it much. But 
yeah anyway there you go a little video on uh, suckers so there you go milwaukee if it wasn't for your batteries uh your your vacuum literally sucks sucks ass so if you guys uh do get you a rigid you may have to take there's a little diode in there little resistor not a diode but a resistor and if you cut that out and run it with no protection it will absolutely it would absolutely uh suck this thing up and blow it out blow it out its ass if you will but yeah so there you go guys a little video on the uh why the rigid 18 volt vacuum is better than the milwaukee so if you got a question comment complaint or you think i'm wrong buy one and try it versus this another thing i don't like about the rigid is the damn hose it, it's so stiff and i mean it i don't know it's not a very good deal the one thing it does is better in the Milwaukee is you know it's compact and everything just folds up into a little box that's kind of nice that's the only thing nice about it but as far as performance as far as vacuuming the filter is too small way too small so anyway guys uh, I don't know if you've had any uh, experience with these but they need to make that filter bigger on Milwaukee. Make it bigger. That way it don't plug up so fast. And once that filter plugs up, she's done. So. It's kind of tough to put back together with one hand. But anyway, you guys get the drift. I'm not making you sick moving around like this but there you go guys so I think the winner of these two is the rigid if it wasn't for the battery selection of the Milwaukee rigid hands down that's it guys thanks for watching we'll catch you next time